Hello girls, biology form 5 for KSSM consists of 13 chapters and three, uh, 5 theme, 5 tema uh, dan semuanya adalah berkaitan dengan tumbuhan okay, for all the chapters, 13 chapters so in chapter 1, physiology of flowering plants comprises of 7 chapters 7 chapters over here so the first one we are going to look at organization of plant tissues and growth okay so for theme one chapter one organization of plant tissues and growth so recall what you have learned back in form four recall uh, chapter two now can you give examples of a few specialized cells in plants okay plants consist of two types of tissues meristematic and also permanent tissue jadi ada dua uh, jenis tisu yang utama so meristematic tissues are actively dividing tissues through mitosis maksudnya yang ini masih belum lagi specialized okay tetapi yang permanent tissues itu sudah ada specialized function themselves so for example can you recall Xylem, xylem, phloem, right? Okay, so this is the overall overview where you can see from here plant tissues, meristem tissue. Yeah, actively dividing. Ada di atas apex, ya, apical. And also you have lateral meristem tissue and the B. So that means uh, later on we'll look at it. But the terms remember you can remember actually okay for permanent tissues are the epidermal brown tissues as well as vascular tissues the one that you are familiar with xylem and also phloem tissue on the ground tissue you have parenchyma colonchyma sclerenchyma so a lot of new terms for you to remember again okay let's look at permanent tissues Permanent tissues, mature tissues, sudah mengalami uh, differentiation. Maksudnya mereka ni sudah specialized into something. Macam pelajar, mula-mula pelajar ni dia macam meristem tissue, dia sedang membahagi. Nanti bila dia sudah graduate, dia bekerja, dia akan menjadi permanent tissue. Maksudnya dia akan menjadi seseorang. Maybe a teacher, Maybe a doctor, a farmer, um, a biologist. So can you see the difference between meristem and also permanent tissue? So di bawah permanent tissue, yang kamu nampak tadi ada epidermal, ground and also vascular tissue, right? So each carrying out different functions or we say they already specialize. Okay, so you, you can see over here, this is the cross section of the lift. So, bila kita bentang macam ini, xylem berada di atas, phloem di bawah. Okay, the locations are important. Sometimes they'll just point at it and they will ask you to, to state the function. Okay, so ini kerata rentas bagi batang. Okay, epidermal tissues when you cut like this. Kamu bentangkan, lihat di bawah mikroskop. This is what you can see, the ground tissue. Okay, ground tissue are all over. And then you have phloem di sebelah luar, xylem inside. Okay, for root cells, okay, the, the root tissue over here, when you cut like this, bentangkan di sini. Ini paling senang ingat. Ah, Ini bentuk X kan? Okay, so yang bentuk X ini, this is the xylem. Okay, and whereas the the round ones here are the phloems, and you have the ground tissue, and you have the epidermal tissue. Epidermal ni selalu dia memang akan berada di luar sebab you still remember the function mereka ini bertindak sebagai protective tissue, just like the epidermal layer layer at your skin. Okay, now this one new terms for you parent. Cuba ingat ah, parent, like it's like your parent, ibu bapa, parent, kaima. 
Clarence, Claren, Kai, Mai. Look at the, the, the cells. Coba kamu kenal pasti. And also Colin, Kai, Ma. Ha. Okay, wait. Uh. Now, this is the one. Ground tissues. Yang parent kaima itu, okay, and colon kaima and sclerosis kaima. So you have, you see here over here, banyak details. Look at sini. You have to remember. Simplest living cells do not undergo differentiation. Okay, uh, always digit providing support. So banyak punya detail, but it's okay. You just get the overview first. Later on, as you get along with it. Hopefully you can remember. So by the name itself, parent, macam ibu bapa. Ah, so of course they always give you support. They always they will maintain the shape. Okay, it is also involved in photosynthesis. So that means providing food storage, isn't it? Macam ibu bapa, kan? Okay, involved in repair and regeneration of plant tissues. Okay, colon, kaima. Living cells. Okay, so you see, ah, living cells, living cells. But for sclerosis, chyma dead cells. Okay, this one just now thinnest. Ah, uh, this one thicker than parent chyma. Kalau sclerosis chyma is the thickest dead cells. So, kalau dead cells thickest, ah, uh, so it's related to support and mechanical strength, isn't it? Okay, also help to transport. So, they're only quad. Quad. Macam xylem pula, kan? Hmm, mechanical support, elasticity. So, can you see some of the similarities and also differences? Nanti bila kamu self-study, you should be um, locating dia punya persamaan dan juga perbezaan. Supaya menyenangkan kamu untuk ingat. Then, when you look back at the location, Ha. Thinness. This one thicker cells than parent chyma. Thickest. Okay. Living cells. Living cells. Dead cells. Okay. Memang kena ingat dia punya point. Ground tissues. Okay. Reverse back. Kita jangan lupa ada epidermal tissues. So epidermal tissues yang seperti cikgu cakap tadi. Uh, it's about protective layer. Okay. Outermost. Okay, they are uh, exposed to the air, have waxy and waterproof layer, cortical, cortical, to reduce the loss of water. Yeah, lapisan uh, waxy, that one. Okay, they are modified epidermal cells according to their functions. For example, the gut self itself is a, is a modified, is an example of modified epidermal tissues. Okay, kalau gut cells ni dia control lah opening, closing of the stoma. Kalau root hair cells, uh, increase surface area for water and mineral salts absorption. Okay, so on a famous ini dia akan minta contoh modify epidermal cells. And then, uh, they will ask you what's their function, then you'll be able to state. Okay, sikit sejak kamu perlu ingat, ingat-ingat. Okay, next, vascular tissue. Okay, type, structure, and also function. So, vascular, vessels. Vessels, jadi ada xylem, ada phloem. Xylem ni dead cells. Okay, phloem ni living cells. Xylem ni macam satu pipe lah, sistem per pipe, per pipe pan. Okay, without cytoplasm, contains lignin, lignifies, supaya dia keras. Dia mau jadi pipe, dia mau angkut air, dia mau angkut mineral salts. So, from where to where? From roots lah kan? Uh, serap air dari roots to the rest of the, uh, to the leaves usually we say. Because uh, photosynthesis memerlukan um, air. Okay. Elongated, hollow, uh, memanjang, mestilah sebab dia pipe. Hollow, hollow tu maksudnya dia ada ruang. Dekat dalam space. Nah, betul lah kan sebab pipe memang ada satu lubang untuk air itu mengalir. So, very easy for you to remember the characteristics of xylem. 
phloems, companion cells, and sieve tubes. Okay, ha, nama-nama ini kamu kena pasti bila tengok saja ni kamu tahu this is related to phloem. Okay, they are made up of living cells, ada cytoplasm, tapi tiada organelles such as nucleus and ribosomes because they will decompose when they mature. Okay, sieve tubes arranged end to end, dari hujung ke hujung, hujung. Okay, elongated, continuous tube structures. Nah, sebab mereka pun perlu mengangkut transportation. Okay, mengangkut apa? Hasil-hasil fotosintesis. Dari mana ke mana? Dari daun to other parts of the plants to storage organs. For example, roots, fruits, ka, tubers. Ka. Okay, can you remember that? Alright, so let's look back. This is only the first part where you have come across the permanent tissue. Kita ada bincang tiga benda ini, tiga tisu ini. Alright?